Shalom Alaikum. This is Rama Shada Menace. Welcome back to Empowering Preeminence Multimedia Productions. Before I go any further, I want to give our praise to the Most High first and foremost, Yahweh, the Father of Yahweh Shai, pre and post incarnate into human flesh, and the Father of Abraham, the Father of Isaac, and the Father of Jacob. I want to make this uh, video as short and pithy as I uh, possibly can. Um, I was on Facebook um, yesterday and a brother had posted a scripture about uh, whether or not that women are permitted and allowed to preach. And of course, if you've seen um, um, a, couple of videos, a couple of videos I did back um, about four or five months ago, I did a video saying that you black women is out of order by preaching according to the Torah among the male masses um, because the woman was not given the permit nor license to teach, uh, especially in the congregation. It's illegal. You understand? It's not permissive by the Torah. You can run to Deborah all y'all want to. You understand? Because Deborah was not really a judge. Okay? Um, when you read the book of Exodus chapter 18, verses 20 to 27, you can clearly see that the uh, that only the men of Israel, the men, Ayashyam, okay? Not Ayashayam, all right? Uh, Ayashyam, which means more than one man, okay? Not Ayashayam, which means more than one female, all right? So legally, according to the, according to the Torah, she, you know, she was... She was not legal. Um, she was not legal. She has, she has been given a permit from the Most High, the judge. And you can clearly see that the scripture never said the Spirit of the Lord came upon her and she was raised up to be the deliverer of the children of Israel at the time. So you know the Most High wasn't using women like that. All right? So so please stop with the uh, devil bullshit, all right? Um, now, now um, somebody mentioned Junia, a Junia. Spelled J U N I A, according to the book of uh, reference in the book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 7. And I found that pretty interesting, man, because one lady, and this is the problem I have with you black women, man, especially especially those, man, who know y'all Israelites. Y'all trying to find a place so goddamn bad. You understand? Y'all trying to apply, you're trying, you're trying to uh, apply yourself in the position of men. You understand? But, but, but what y'all don't realize is that. The most high is very chauvinistic. The most high is a male sexist. You know, so he always gonna favor the man over the woman. That's why he told Eve in the first place that your desire is to be with your husband, he shall rule over you. That's Genesis chapter three, verse sixteen. You understand? And 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 um, and the most high gave man to have an abundance mindset. You understand? According to shout to mighty Hebrew, I learned from him that according to the book of uh, Genesis chapter two, verse twenty-four. Where it says a father shall leave his father, I mean, a man shall leave his father and mother, and um, he shall be he shall uh, cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. The Hebrew word doesn't say wife, but it actually is wives. You understand? Which means more than one wife. You understand? So uh, that that's very important, and, and you know I don't mind getting to that either. Now, um, here's the thing. Going back to uh, Romans chapter 16, verse uh, 9, number eight, verse, uh, verse 7. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read the, the King James Version right quick. All right? Because a lot of y'all like to make this, a lot of y'all like to make this mistake. All right? Then the book of uh, Romans chapter six, 16, verse 7, it says, Greet uh, Adronicus and Junia." my fellow Jews and fellow prisoners. They are noteworthy in the eyes of the apostles. Okay? And they were uh they were also in Christ before me. Now this is the this is actually the Christian um standard Bible version. Let's read the King James version since uh your average Israelite is so partial to the King James version anyway. And I, I ain't gonna I'm kinda partial towards it too, but but not as partial as I used to. Now, we're going to read what it says in Romans chapter 16, verse 17. I mean, verse 7. It says, Salute Adronicus and Junia, my kinsmen, and my fellow prisoners, who are who are of note among the apostles, who were in Christ before me. Now, see, now, now see one chick said um, on Facebook, Oh, Junia was a woman, and Junia was an apostle. That's bullshit. 
It never said that she was an apostle. It says that uh, Adronicus and Jonia uh, were, were, were of notes, which means that, 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 they, that they were given notice, you understand, among the apostles. You understand? To be among the apostles is different than being of the apostles. When you're of the, when you're of the apostles, that means that you are an apostle. You understand? Think about this. I'll give you an example. Michael Jai White is a great martial artist. You understand? He uh, he has a black belt in eight or nine different uh, martial arts genres. You understand? I believe it includes uh, wushu, uh, kung fu, or something like that. Now, let's say, okay, let, let, let me go back. Let's say, uh, I say salute Michael Jai White, my brothers and my sisters. You understand who are who are uh, who are of note among uh, the UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Champions. Does that mean that that, that Michael Jai White is of the UFC uh, constituents? No, it just means that uh, he 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 is very popular among uh, those who have been registered uh, as members of UFC professional professional uh, fighters. Confined, you know, con you know, in, in confined environment, uh, fighting environment. You understand? They, everybody, Brandon Shop, John, uh, John Jones. You understand? You name it. Uh, they know Michael Jai White because of his contribution to the martial arts world. The same thing with Bruce Lee. You understand? Bruce Lee is not of, of the UFC world because first of all, he died in 1973. You understand? But but what the scripture is saying is, is that is that he is well known among uh she is well known going back to Romans chapter sixteen and verse seven. She is well known among the apostles. Now once again I read that the, the Christian the Christian um the Christian standard Bible and it says uh meet greet Adronicus and Junia, my fellow Jews and fellow prisoners. They are noteworthy in the eyes of the apostles. When it says they are noteworthy in the eyes of the apostles, you understand, which means that they are noticeable in the eyes of the apostles. It never said that she was a member of, of, of among the 12 apostles or the selected apostles. Okay? Same thing with Michael Jai White. Michael Jai White is well known in the UFC. You understand? Even though he's not an official member of UFC, but he's well known in the martial arts world. He's well known in K1. I believe it's called K1. You understand? Which is kickboxing. You understand? I think K2 is actually a drug that made people go crazy and shit like that. You understand? So, 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 so that's like saying, uh, uh, meet Michael Jai White, meet Wesley Snipes, meet Don, meet Donnie Yen from Ip Man, uh, my, my brothers. They are noteworthy in the eyes of the UFC. You understand? If if you remember UFC, who doesn't know who Mike Michael Jai White is? Who doesn't know what uh, Ip Man is? Donnie Yen. You see what I'm saying? They are noteworthy. It was it was means that they notice them, they recognize them, they acknowledge them. You understand? So Jonia was not an apostle. Cut the bullshit. There's no such thing as female apostles. All right. And nine times I tell you, black woman that's pushing this crap, a succubus. You understand? Y'all what I call um shout out to Dr. BOA. Um he uh he he like to call them energy vampires. You dig? I I, I call them um uh, masculine energy larcenists. Cause larcenist deals with death. Better yet, y'all are grand masculine energy larcenists. You see what I'm saying? Y'all grand energy vampire, y'all grand matter of fact, I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna top Dr. BOA. Y'all not vampires, y'all carriers. If y'all seen Blade 2, remember, uh, uh there, there, there was a group of, of vampires that was much that there was much worse and much more lethal and menacing than your average uh conventional, conventional, uh, uh a traditional vampire, not conventional, but traditional uh, traditional vampires. And they were called the carriers led by Nomak. You see what I'm saying? That's what you black women is. Many of you black women are energy carriers. That's who y'all is, y'all energy carriers. You see what I'm saying? And y'all want to suck every y'all want to suck everything that 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 that, 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 that disseminates the man that deals with masculinity. 
and make them to a straight up beta male simp shrimp or shrimp simp mangina. All right. So um, I'm going to read one more version of the Bible. I'm going to read one more version of it because y'all, because y'all, y'all black women, man, I'm telling y'all, y'all insatiably power driven, man. It's fucking ridiculous. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm picking out the amplified version of the Bible. All right. Okay, greet, and this is the Amplified, this is the Amplified um, Bible, AMP. Greet Adronicus and Janias, my kinsmen, and once my fellow prisoners, who are held in high esteem in the estimation of the apostles. You see what I'm saying? In the estimation. Once again, it's talking, to, it's talking about how they acknowledge them, how they acknowledge their work. All right? In the estimation of the apostle, I mean the apostle is the one that's given the estimation. They are, they are measuring, they are measuring how how committed they are to their service to the Most High and Yahweh Shai. Okay. Once again, now this is the Common English Bible. It says, uh, "Say hello to Adronicus and Junia, my relatives and my fellow prisoners. They are prominent among the apostles." They are among them, not of the apostle. Of means of means uh, you're belonging to someone. They are among them. Among means that okay, you just disseminated by them, you circulated by them, but you're not necessarily of them. Think about this. Uh, let, 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 let's say you got somebody that does part of these uh, uh, cultic, you know, Delta Phi Sigma, you know, all all them stupid uh, HBCU, uh, you know, uh, Greek college groups. You understand? Let's say that my name is my my name, my shot of menace is prominent among them because I'm so critical of them. You see what I'm saying? That don't mean that I'm of the Delta, the Delta Phi Sigma, whatever they call that stuff. You dig? I'm I'm gonna bring out one more version. I might bring out I don't know another uh, several more versions so I can get that through your thick head. All right. It says, uh, this is the English Standard Version. It says, Greet Adronicus and Janiah, my kinsmen, my fellow prisoners. They are well known to the apostles. They are well known to the apostles. And they were in Christ before which They are well known to the apostles. No different than the example I brought earlier. Michael J. White is well known to the members of UFC. He's well known to the members of, 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 of boxing. Remember, he did play Mike Tyson, right? In the 1995 hit movie Tyson, you see what I'm saying? Y'all gotta stop it, man. Janiel was a woman, and some people are even debating that. But once again, she was not, I repeat, she was not an apostle. Y'all quit it, man. I'm gonna read the American Standard Version, because they all saying the same thing as the King James. They are among the apostles. All right, salute Adronicus and Janias, my uh, kinsmen, and my fellow prisoners who are notes among the apostles, which means they were uh, noticeable. People notice their work. That's all it's saying. So y'all stop it. You understand? Y'all stop it. I, I, I think I'm done with that. You understand? But 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 y'all but y'all is ridiculous, man. Y'all know damn well Yahawashai. Yahawashai didn't even come to save y'all. I did a two-part series about that. Yahweh didn't wasn't even sent by Yahweh man to come and save the um, the women of Israel. You understand? Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring out this one scripture because y'all ridiculous. Hold up, I'm bring out the Act, Book of Acts chapter thirteen because this is this is ridiculous, man. This is real ridiculous. I'm going to bring up the book of Acts chapter 13. I'm going to read verse 26. All right? And I'll be done after this. I ain't going to make this video that damn long. It says, men and brethren. Think about those two words. I call it the proper possessive dominant masculine pronoun. All right? Men. Dominant masculine pronoun. And brethren. So you know it's talking to the male constituents. Children of the stock of Abraham and, and whosoever among you, men and brethren, fear with Yahweh, to you, men and brethren, is the word of this salvation sin. So he's telling you, man, that salvation is exclusive to the men of Israel. All right? 
So I'm going to stop right there, man. Um, cause like I said, y'all women being ridiculous. You understand? Junia was not an apostle. Y'all cut the shit. All right? Y'all cut it out. You understand? So um, y'all hit that like button, you heard me. Hit that uh, share button. Hit that subscribe button. Once again, hit that like button. Hit that share button. Hit that subscribe button. You understand? And uh, for that, it's your Ramashad Minister, you heard me? I'm out. Shalom. Peace.